I was so sad. I was so sad. I cried all night. Life is so short. Enjoying that moment that you're in right now before that moment is gone is everything, right? Because five years, 10 years can pass. And then that person that you needed to convey this message to or that thing that you needed to do in that moment is gone. Run with how you're feeling in real time. We don't do that enough. We constantly think in the what ifs, the what ifs, or should I, should I not? Like we are wasting time doing that and you will lose opportunity. You lose people. What is this wrong place, wrong time, right person, wrong time? Like make it the right time. One decision can factor out the rest of your life. Instead of making that left turn, making that right can change your life. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, family? I was so sad. I was so sad. I cried all night. I watched... Okay. I put it on TikTok, too. I, sobbing. Like, chokehold. Like, someone... I, like, you know when you want to, like, cry, like, nonstop? I watched this show, and it was like... It taught me so much. I, got, I got, had a lot of takeaways, because it was a really cute, adorable show. But um, for those who don't know, the show One Day, have you watched it? No. You need to watch it. You're not going to want to watch it. <laughs> I have the the entire storyline, synopsis, premise, yeah. everything. I know everything that happened. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it, but the premise of the show, essentially, it's like it's a love story, but um, it just reminds you how life is so short and how unexpected it can be and how things can take a turn overnight and how much we take for granted not speaking you know, our true feelings, you know, it shows you right person, wrong time. It shows you like how one small decision can factor the next two, three years of your life, you know? And I think people forget that we're not going to live forever. We are literally not going to live forever. People live their life as if like they're going to be here forever. It's it, these types of shows will give you that like that hurtful reality check of like literally doesn't matter who you are within any second your life can change right and um basically the show like it was it was so sweet in a sense where like it was the foundation is based off of a friendship right but even sometimes within friendships it's like we're not always honest with how we feel and i think that it's so important to speak your truth i'm learning about the importance of just like in the moment if you feel some way to someone say it you know like if you love someone tell them if you hate them tell them like live in live in real time live in your truth we, we don't do that anymore and it, it sucks because you can literally five, 10 years wake up and, and everything can be different and you can just, you're just going to be stuck and reminiscing on the past. And like, I got so sad because aside from the, the general like theme of the movie, you know, I thought about so many relationships in my life and how many people I possibly let get away, friends included, not just like partners, um, by not speaking my honest truth about how I felt. And like, it's so important to do that. I think, like you said, life is so short and we have these like reality checks from time to time when something drastic happens in our life or something very sad or, you know, and it reminds us that like this world is so finite and it's at the blink of an eye, it can change, you know, um, and your previous life can change tenfold, right? Like we've been through things, you know, I hope we don't endure some of the, the hardships that we face that showed us how our old life that was once there is gone and now we have to adjust this new life right and we now hope that we can learn from those small mistakes and the things that we didn't say to certain people or didn't do or reacted poorly or things that we should have did but we didn't at that time because we're thinking that this moment will last forever or the people that were around will be here forever and then when it changes at the blink of an eye we're at the point of it's like could have, should have, would have, I should have did this. I should have said this. I should have stayed, you know, at that place instead of going, I should have listened more. I should have spoke less. I should have, right. Like we have those reality checks. And I think like shows like this or movies too can kind of remind us. That's why it's like, how did all of these people across like the world, there's TikToks, there's videos, there's people crying at their TVs. It's not because 
of the show. Exa- it's not because of like the character, because uh, of course it's a fictional movie, right? But it reminds us of like us, right? And how we relate to that or how we could be in their shoes, right? And it reminds us of uh, our previous relationships, the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, the, those moments. So I think like it's so sad to understand that like this life could be cut you know, at the blink of an eye can change, but it's really healthy knowing that because then you can change some of your day to days, right? You can kind of teeter and understand like, Hey, I should check myself here because at any moment things can change. Yeah. And, and I saw all the TikToks of people watching this show and they were like sobbing and I couldn't understand it. Right. I was just kind of like, what's the show? Whatever. Like, I don't want to watch something that makes me sad. And I, after I watched it, I was like telling all my friends to watch it and they're like, no dude, I'm not going to do that to myself. And brought shout out brought. He's the one who told me to watch it. And even I told him, I was like, I'm not sure. I don't have the bandwidth for those emotions, dude. He's like, no, no, like watch it. Like the storyline's good. The storyline's actually a lot to take away from it. Like it, it, it shows us, um, one, what can happen to our life, and two, if it does happen, how to grow from it, you know, how to how to move forward from it. It does show you that and how to kind of power through. And so I watched it, and I made my poor sister watch it, watch it with me, and she was pissed. And, and when we got to the, you know, the plot, like, I was very much one of those people. Like, I, I oh, my God. And, it, and it, you said it perfectly, like, naturally as humans we relate it to ourselves, but also, like, thinking about, oh, my God, people go through these things? Like, oh people have to go through that like because if we're just a stranger feeling it imagine person going through it right so it's like and even though it's not necessarily a real story that can happen to people and it's a very 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 tragic thing and it just shows you that unfortunately life does go on and all those years you spent when you could have or should have said something or told them how you felt and they got away or vice versa you know you made that small decision you know it life still went on it's gonna continue to go on so it's like don't waste time thinking about should I tell her or thinking about should I not tell her because it's going to ruin our friendship or should I be honest with this person should I just keep my mouth shut and because things are are, are good the way they are I don't want to ruin it I don't want to ruin it we don't take enough risks and from risks really beautiful things can come not always but most times like you know you challenge yourself in a way to put yourself out there I wasn't always like that I've gotten more comfortable with putting myself out there and being honest because bro yeah we do have one life to live if I want something or I feel some type of way I'm going to let you know I'm getting better at at it um but you know we can lose those chances we can lose those moments and that person can get away or that friend can get away or that job you can lose that job or that house you know like run with how you're feeling in real time we don't do that enough we constantly think in the what ifs the what ifs or should i should i not like we are wasting time doing that and you will lose opportunity you lose people you know and it, it's crazy because i guess in the show it shows the progression of lives mm-hmm. or their lives oh, right? yeah, like yeah. which way he went in which way she went, right? And it shows like how different things kind of were at different points of their lives, right? Like there were once this like nerdy little girl, she was once this one nerdy little girl, and then like now where she is and where what he became and like what he went through and stuff. And he and, was like, the jock and like he was so popular. And he was popular. And, and it he, also shows you like at your most vulnerable stage who you yearn for, you know? And that tells you something as well. It's like when you're at your lowest peak, who do you think of to want to be there with you? Exactly. And like not taking advantage of those moments of telling someone how you truly feel or like enjoying that moment that you're in right now before that moment is gone is everything, right? Because five years, 10 years can pass. And then that person that you needed to convey this message to or that thing that you needed to do in that moment is gone, right? Mm -hmm. People are in different points of their lives. People, you know, are in different relationships. People, old friends that you love so much are now strangers, right? And then it's so difficult to kind of get that moment back and at a blink of an eye, you don't know if you will be able to get it back, right? So it's like, it shows that a lot of people fail to seize that opportunity or seize that moment when they feel so much about a certain thing, a certain place, a certain person that they just don't muster up the kind of courage that's needed in those moments. And I think about this a lot and I think about how life is so short. So why do we feel a certain type of way with certain type of things that we know, like we've talked about in the past, how we can take, you know, people's advice and certain things people say with a grain of salt, knowing that in 
50 or 100 years, they're not going to exist. You're not going to exist. You guys are probably going to be in the same place unless they end up in hell. Have you seen that TikTok? If you wake up and you don't see me, <laughs> just know that you are in hell or something. It's hilarious, bro. It's this African dude. But basically, that like a lot of things you have to take with a grain of salt, right? Because like it's not infinite, bro. Like the people that are telling you certain things in life, they are going to fail to exist in a hundred years as are you. It's a really scary reality. So like we have to take that same sort of advice when it comes to knowing how finite this life is, bro. Also, dude, like what is this wrong place, wrong time, right person, wrong time? Like make it the right time. Make it the right time because you will not have, you can wake up tomorrow and not have the time. We don't know. You act like you, literally people act like we're going to live this life forever. We have forever. We don't. We don't if we've all witnessed it. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what race, what identity, what religion, how old. Time will not wait for anybody and like before you know it your life is over and that's a sick dark reality but I'm very grounded with that I live my life knowing that god forbid in any second it can change in the worst way and I've it has it has and so with that to your point I live every moment like you know not leaving the house without it being positive tension, saying bye to my mom and sisters, not getting off the phone without saying I love you or texting someone if I'm thinking about them and then not waking up one day and saying I should have texted them. I don't have the chance anymore. You know, like you have to – and I'm also getting better at this. If you have an instinct to like call someone, call them. If they cross your mind, make the call. Like if, if your instinct or like your intuition is saying if someone crosses your mind, you're like I should call them, just call them then, you know, or like – you know, don't wait, like, I'll call them when I get home, I'm driving, so no, like, call them then, you know, like, we don't, we don't miss opportunities, if you can, like, it's, it's, the universe is very powerful, um, and, you know, if, if you literally, one decision, and you, you and I talked about this in the past, like, one decision can factor out the rest of your life, Go, instead of making that left turn, making that right, will change, can change your life, you know, the entire trajectory can change, and, you know, I love her, but I don't know if I should tell her, because we're good friends, or, like, I, I know it's her, but right now, it's like, I'm, I'm fine, you know, like, she can get away, he can get away, you know, like, people won't wait forever, relationships, friendships, all that, like, I just think that it's so important to embrace the moment again, live in real time, live in real time because time is against us, man. It's against us. It's the only thing against us. Why do you think we are so hell bent on either living in the past or living for the future? I think because that's the yeah. weirdest phenomenon, bro, because we're not the moment passes us mm -hmm. and then we reminisce at when we were kids or when we were teenagers or when we were in college. And then while we're in the moment, we're planning for the future. We're planning on what's ahead and what our next move is. I can't wait till we become this much. I can't wait till we reach this level. I can't wait till this dream comes true when like, how do you even know if you're gonna get there? You don't. How do you know if that's, you know, if you're not really, like you can have it set and all the plans could be this, all the while you're not embracing this moment that you're blessed with. like. We are blessed to be here. I think about it all the time. I'm like, there are people that don't make it to 2024, 2025, 2026, whatever. I'm like, they don't know what it feels like to be in this moment, right? It's like, and they didn't wake up. And there's that that quote, like the people that, God forbid, Durazma, like, they don't wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, today I'm not going to make it. Mm -hmm. They go out into the world thinking that they're going to come home. You know what I mean? Ugh. That that person will be there the next day. So scary. It's so scary. And like, it's still hard to fathom. Like, it's hard for me to live a life where I'm just like, at any moment, this person, I don't want to think that. Like, I almost have this weird, sick notion. If I don't think about it, it it's not going to happen. Right? Like, I'm not going to like. It's healthy. It's not, right? okay, it's not like. That's a healthy way to, like, ignorance can be bliss to an extent. Yeah. You have the awareness of, like, this life isn't forever and, like, life is short. But it's also not healthy to sit there and be like, okay, someone's going to die tomorrow, possibly, so let me just, like, or this sure. I'm going like, to lose this person like and they're going to yeah. hate me, like. Like, don't, you'll drive yourself crazy. But, like, have this, like, idea that, like, 
if you want to spend time with someone, do it because you know one day you you're gonna miss it. You you their life can change. They can move on. They can get married, have kids, and go to, move to a different state. And you can't see them just like get in your car and go drive to them anymore. You know, so like in that sense, like life's short because time changes, circumstances changes, people's lives change. It doesn't just have to be like oh they're gonna die, you know. But it it could be like you can wake up tomorrow and get diagnosed and be sick. That means you're not going to be able to perform the same. You can't, you know, your priorities in your life is going to change. You're going to focus on getting healthier and like you'll lose those moments. You, we owe it to ourselves too to remember that we're not going to live forever. And it's not you even know? like the physically dying part. It could be like emotionally that, that, that part of your life can die or figuratively that person kind of died. They're still living. They're still living their lives and stuff, but they're, they're kind of gone. Yeah. And like, I've understood that so much because I've, I've dealt with this, right? It's like, I've dealt with people that I didn't, I desperately didn't want to let go of, but for whatever reason, for, I made that left turn, they made that right turn, et cetera. But you and see, I have a problem with that. I don't sit well with, at one point in my life, talking to someone, having a, some sort of relationship, and then that's it. You're never, I'm never going to talk to you again. You, It's like they, they died in your life. Does that sit right with you? It doesn't, doesn't sit right with me. I've had the. I can't do that. I've had. The I'm hardest struggling time. with it. I'm struggling with hardest it. Hardest time yeah. letting go of people. Yeah, I can't do it. And it doesn't mean like oh I want them back. It just means like bro, at one point you meant something in my life. We had a relationship. Like I can't just pretend you don't exist. Me neither. Yeah. Like I don't want to walk past you and not act like I know you. Type. It's weird. Some people are. It's whatever works for you. But to the end, the the general point. Watch the show one day if you have the emotional bandwidth. Because it is sad. It's so sad. Like, any guy who... Like, you are not going to... Oh, that movie. Like, it's sad. It's very sad. Um, and then and then cherish the moments because... In real time. Because life's, life is, life's a trip. I hate it. I kind of hate it. I really don't like it. <laughs> I hate it in the best way possible. Yeah. Insane. I, I yes. Where can they find it. us? <laughs> YouTube.com slash The Demo Podcast. TDP. We out. We out.